Many people ask us to show how we crystallize on champagne bottles. While it has taken years of a practice, this is a look into one of our processes. For this project, we started by drawing a logo with a black sharpie. Although difficult to see, there is enough detail to paint in the design. To begin the gluing process, we chose a two-part slow cure epoxy. Mix on a scrap piece of paper, add to your syringe, choose a medium lure lock tip. This is a, gonna be a 20 gauge. Next, we start adding the glue to the painted areas. You wanna hold your syringe like you mean it. Hold it in your palm and use your thumb for the glue control. Our choice of tool to pick up the crystals is the crystal katana. The black end is our in-house mixture of synthetic materials similar to wax. The other end is hollow, chromed, and plastic. It'll encase the top facet of your crystals. Today we're going to use SS7, 5, and 3. So unscrew your chrome end of the katana, placing in your adapter tip. Sometimes you need a little help to get in there. There we go. Screw it back on, and you now have a very tiny adapter to work with these super small crystals. It is also hollow and will encase the top facet of your crystals. To pick up and move the crystals, just gently touch the black wax to the stone. Once it touches the glue, it will release and use the other end of your adapter to position the stones into the glue. Gentle touch and then position. 